Welcome everybody, we are in the Marathon of Madrid, it's the 6th edition of uh, this race. Uh, quite a big famous marathon in the center of uh, Madrid and with a lot of skaters at the start uh, for this edition and especially uh, Dusla Pelicon who won the edition last year. So here we go for the start. Uh, there is uh, quite some uh, good Spanish skater also like uh, Pachi Poela and uh, Inigo Vidondo and a um, little less uh, skater than the other year also because uh, two weeks later we will have the World Championship uh, in Barcelona so quite uh, some good skater uh, save some energy to prepare this uh, World Championship anyway we are in the nice road in the center of Madrid for this race with about I would say a pack of a uh, little more than 500 skater uh, at the start of this race uh, like in the race in uh, Biel Switzerland the woman and the men uh, start together in one same pack and uh, one of the best uh, women skater here is uh, Aura Quintana just uh, here on the picture with the white and grey skin suit and uh, the study is, is quite uh, easy this year. Uh, first, we have uh, there is five laps to do, uh, but uh, one first lap is uh, just a little uh, little lap. It's a little smaller, and then we have four big laps uh, to have an exact distance of uh, 42 kilometers, 195. Uh, first attack of the race, actually, it's not really an attack. It's more like an acceleration, and. Um, the, we have uh, two skaters from Team Rollerblade, we have uh, Victor Torres also from uh, Team uh, Nitro and uh, Pat Chipola also with, uh, uh, from his club team and he has uh, so one Team 8 with him and a uh, few other uh, skaters. It's, uh, it's quite a difficult race, it seems uh, like easy on the lap when you look the course, but actually it's, uh, it's in a big avenue and uh, half of the race is going uphill, like this part of the race is going uphill till the U-turn and then there is uh, of course a downhill and uh, it's about average uh, something like 2% uphill the whole way up here, so it's, uh, it's quite difficult and uh, the, the selection uh, is very important in this lap for 42k you, you need a strong condition to be able to to follow the the lighter guys and stronger guys in this race for 42k so we start to have the first uh, few acceleration of the race uh, there is also on the road we have to be very careful uh, during this race because uh, there is um, the, the um, the road quality is smooth, it makes it quite fast, so we can reach uh, quite easily 50 km now in the downhill, but there is a lot of holes also and some line on the ground, so we have to be uh, quite careful. So most of the time we have to look the road more than what we have to look the monument during the race. Uh, this lap is really nice, there is a lot of uh, nice monument around and we are also passing uh, near the football stadium from uh, Real Madrid so it's, it's uh, quite a big avenue in uh, Madrid so at the moment the, the pack is still uh, like together about 50 skaters uh, can follow the first few accelerations uh, organized by the two skaters from uh, Team Rollerblade Du Slampelicon uh, just in front of me with the yellow uh, Rollerblade skin suit He's uh, the winner from last year. He broke away and finished alone last year, I think. Uh, he's a very light skater. He has a great sense of uh, feeling the race to make the right attack. So uh, I think uh, it will be harder for him uh, this year in this race. But still, it's a big advantage from uh, because he's very light. So for the uphill part, it's very good for him. At this moment, you see most of the skaters, they try to save energy or so, we are really in one line, taking as much draft as possible. Uh, I try to be particularly close to uh, Dusla. Uh, for me, it's very good to skate uh, behind this skater. 
and he is actually making uh, one attack, strong attack, uh, nicely done. He builds some speed from um, the middle part of the pack using some crosses, and then uh, it already make a gap. I think uh, it's. Uh, I cannot see which gator from. I think it's Pachi who is jumping his wheel straight, and so it's very, uh, very good. Uh, which showed the motivation of Pachi to, to go for this victory uh, straight. I got the chance to interview also a few uh, skaters before the start of this race. And so let's say, uh, let's listen uh, what Pachi have to say uh, before this race. Ah, this race is always hard. This Madrid is in the center. In the center, uh, Paseo La Castellana is the half uh, lap is uh, going uh, up and the other is uh, going down. The speed is is very high in the in the downhill, uh, but then it is uh, very hard in going up. So we will see with the uh, Pedicon and Guillaume and some Spanish skaters. Uh, it's, it's hard because I think it's the breakaways uh, start uh, uh, in the beginning of the race, but uh, we will see. Sure. Apache, you know, you know exactly uh, this race. It's the sixth edition of this marathon, and I'm not sure if he participated in all of this uh, event uh, years after years, but he probably did at least three or four times this event, so he know exactly the course and. Um, he knows also that the two guys from Rollerblade uh, will uh, do a lot of attacks now after, after Guillaume, after uh, those lines up now it's Guillaume who will start to make attack in the downhill. Uh, Guillaume is super powerful, he has a great technique in a strike line also and uh, he, he can uh, maintain very high speed for a long time so it's very good for him to also attack in the downhill. I don't think this attack is, is meant to really uh, create breakaway but they just try to make the race harder for Pachi at this moment and they try to attack uh, one by one after each other for the guys from Rollerblade so it's creating a, a big selection in the pack because uh, they know that if the pack gets much smaller uh, it will be harder uh, for everybody when there is a big pack uh, it's a big advantage for the pack so they try to destroy this pack early in the race so the attack that they plan later probably will, uh, will make big difference. And you see just after this attack from Guillaume we have uh, another attack from Doucelin. And they really want to make this race uh, very clear at the beginning. And so it, it make a hard day for everybody. So in this part uh, it, it's very fast. Uh, it's uh, slightly uh, down in, so we reach uh, very often uh, more than 50 km an hour in, the, in this part. Now we have another attack from Pachi, from uh, Victor Torres and from Guillaume de Malvou. It's a good trio to attack, actually. Uh, it could be the podium of the race. We have also Inigo Vidondo who don't let this situation uh, go too far, so he, he takes the lead to come back uh, there. And Duslan is... Uh, he cannot let so many skaters away. Well, they have two good skaters from Rollerblade yeah, in this race, so, the, so they cannot let uh, only one guy in, in the top five. I think they can expect to get more, so Duslan, you have to, to bring back a little uh, part of the pack uh, on this uh, small breakaway. So as you see, we are, we are easily at 50 km an hour, almost not skating in this part. Uh, that's how fast the, this downhill can be and uh, because the road is in good quality it's quite easy to get uh, smooth speed. The other part where it's much harder with the uphill but in the downhill it's actually a super nice feeling uh -huh, in this race. So now the pack is again uh, grouped together and uh, Doucelin is in the pack so let's listen uh, what he, he was thinking of this race after having the victory uh, last year. 
Uh, yeah, when I saw, so uh, I'm uh, a little bit uh, stressed because uh, because uh, I'm, the, I'm the winner. Uh, so uh, I must be uh, in a good shape for for do a, a good uh, good race with uh, Guillaume. Guillaume, we we will uh, be two uh, of uh, all our blade, Guillaume and me. Uh, the road is uh, pretty good, but uh, uh, the the lap. Uh, have a lot of uh, uphill and uh, downhill, so uh, it's uh, uh, a good, uh, good lap uh, for for do many attack. Tusla, I know quite good this lap from last year. I think it's only the second time you race there. Second year is in team um, in the team Rollerblade. Uh, we just passed the. We just finished during the, the he was speaking. We just finished the first small lap. So now we are going for, we have to do four bigger laps, it's actually just almost the same but we are going a little more uh, far in the avenue. Uh, the pack is still together, and now it's the second appeal and the end of this, uh, this uh, straight line is where the uh, appeal is the hardest. Just before having the next U-turn it's going to be a little more difficult. Uh, we can see uh, any girl is, who is drinking now is uh, uh, taking uh, the wheels of one of the Rollerblade skaters uh, from Dusna and um, as we know they, they will uh, as they say uh, especially Dusna say they, and uh, Pachi that there will be some attack and of course uh, it, it's a good way to take your results because in the sprint you never know you can finish uh, 5, 10 or 15 when it's a bench sprint it's very difficult especially when it's going down uh, like uh, this uh, finished sprint, it's a long downhill, so it's super fast sprint. So most of the skater they will secure the result by um, creating some breakaway. We can uh, already see uh, some other pack uh, dropped a lot already, and we have here a new attack from Guillaume de Malvou. It's uh, he also attack for, uh, back from the pack. Uh, it's uh, one way to create a lot of speed and it creates a uh, very good acceleration already and uh, everybody jump in his wheels straight but um, he's probably preparing the field. Yeah, now we have another attack I think from Douslin Pedicon uh, we have also Vincent Esno who is also the manager of team uh, Rollerblade here and uh, we have three skaters who are going. I think it's Patches, Victor Torres, and uh, Guillaume de Malvo. Dusna make a little mistake. He probably put his skate on one of the all on this uh, lap. Uh, this is the little uh, only problem on this lap is that uh, there are these uh, few parts where if you don't look really good on the ground, uh, you can easily put your skate in a big hole and uh, it's it's a big uh, chance to crash there. Hopefully, uh, at already at this moment of the race, the pack is not so so big. So, um, because it's going uh, really fast actually, so you you can see very uh, easily uh, where you have to put your skates. So it's still uh, it's kind of doing some interval, and you see all between the little jump in between the pack. Very good uh, skills from uh, Dusla. So there is a lot of interval uh, to do in this uh, in this race because uh, when it's going attack 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 like this. It's a uh, it's big part of the skater life to do interval and that's where we train uh, most, uh, most of the time doing some uh, 30 seconds, 30 seconds interval or 1 minute, 1 minute. It's just to get ready uh, to repeat a lot of acceleration because this is uh, what's needed uh, especially in the first part of the race. Um, later on when uh, the situation is more clear it's more about how you can uh, keep a good speed and save energy so with a regular speed but uh, all this beginning of the race and sometimes for 40 k it's like this so Guillaume de Malvou is go going again and is already followed uh, by Pachi. Pachi is jumping every breakaway since the beginning of the start and it seems like nobody is reacting now like it's also a very difficult moment Victor Torres is trying to go now but not full of conviction to come back uh, Inigo, he already took some relay, so he don't want, so let's sell Guillaume. What say Guillaume about it? Uh, it will be good, it will be sunny, and we will be out, I think so, because 
there is a like a uphill and downhill. So I think it would be just fun and cool and hard. Yeah, how was your preparation uh, last few days? Um, just trying to skate a lot and try to, to keep sensation with uh, with my wheels and try to, 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 to work on my sprint. Do you think you have a chance for the victory today? Or? I hope so, yeah. <laughs> and yes, it seems like uh, the breakaway uh, has a little advantage, 10 seconds already for Pachipola and Guillaume. Uh, Guillaume, you also know very well uh, this course. He raced uh, mainly marathon and he already raced in, uh, in Madrid a few times. Uh, now we are still in the uphill part and we are in a chasing group. Seems like we have six scale left in this chasing group. And then the pack is a little more behind, about uh, 20 seconds behind I would say. And probably something like 15-20 scale left uh, in the other part. But this part of the race is, uh, is really difficult actually. Uh, because uh, if you don't uh, push strong and make a lot of effort, you don't really go fast because of this appeal. Uh, it's very hard the European skating. It's not like in cycling where you can change your gear. Here the, uh, you have to push a lot to go up. The only thing you can do is uh, basically change uh, a bit the direction of your push and change uh, your speed legs. But uh, when you do this, uh, it uh, disturbs a little bit uh, your technique. So um, for some skater, actually who have uh, uh, not uh, so many uh, skills in the technique, uh, going uphill is very good for them. They, they really get uh, most of the time uh, a good day in the race. Uh, if you have a push with going a little bit behind, it's uh, much better for going uphill. So in this kind of race, we see uh, many times uh, some skaters that are normally average on a flat course, but they, they perform very good in, the, in Madrid or in Rolatlon race and things like this. Um, now we have uh, Inigo leading uh, this group, I think. Oh, it's Dusna now with Inigo behind. So let's uh, let's listen uh, Inigo Vinondo talking about this race. Uh, it's kind of interesting race now. It's like a lot of uphill. Then the downhill is gonna be really really fast for us for sure. And I think it's gonna be interesting because there are like two guys of Royal Blade team. And then it's Pachi who is coming really strong too. Uh, I don't know, it can be a lot of breakaways, then catching them. Probably I will need to work a lot, you know, to, to try to one breakaway with one of the Royal, Royal Blade. I don't know, it's, it can happen everything in these kind of races. Like we know everyone, each other really good. So, I don't know. We don't know till, till the last moment. So oh, as you can see the, the appeal is uh, making big difference, at the moment I cannot follow anymore and it's only the second time we get in this appeal. Well, when you see the big uh, trench tower at the end we are making the turn in this area almost. And um, So uh, I'm not far to make the turn but still uh, I miss maybe 300-400 meters before the top uh, with the group. And if I'm not directly uh, right behind them, it would be almost impossible for me uh, to come back. So we also crossed the car with uh, the two breakaway, Pachi and uh, Guillaume. Then we have now this group of uh, five skaters, maybe six, of six skaters. Uh, no, five skaters actually here. Then I'm alone. It's not a very good situation so far from the finish to be alone. And there is like the pack on the left now, behind me, maybe 215 skater about there. And uh, I'm in uh, between these two groups. There is a very small chance uh, for me to be able to come back. Uh, when I'm alone in the downhill, even if I try to skate good at this moment and be aerodynamic, uh, it's very little chance to come back on the group in front of me because uh, they are probably chasing uh, the two guys so there is not many moments where they will uh, slow down if they slow down a little bit i could still have a chance to come back but um, uh, i'm not really hoping so much to be able to do it like they go much faster than me 
and alone in the down is it's not very good situation and also the pack behind me was 15 skater so it's uh, we are still far from the finish and it's better for me uh, to uh, get a regular speed find some energy back because I cannot give everything in the second appeal to be able to follow even if I couldn't make it it's better now that I rest a little bit and that uh, so I can uh, still follow the, the pack when they will uh, get back on me. They are still quite far. It looks like they are far from here, but uh, I think they are maybe only 20 to 30 seconds behind. So it's not also uh, so far. Uh, it's a nice part of the race. I, I like uh, this downhill. You can really put all your technique together, play with your body weight to maintain the speed. So it's quite a nice moment to skate. It feels like you can go fast for not so much effort. There is few uh, cool things to look in the city. It's not really the moment to look at uh, something, but uh, it's a uh, it's a nice lap. I really like it. It's very uh, good city. Many. Uh, place to visit around so it's a good weekend to go in this race uh, very big chance of good weather it was something like already 33 34 degrees at the start of the race and uh, it's in big avenue a lot of skater there uh, so it's good atmosphere before the start it's good atmosphere after the race also and um, very good organization so um, yeah, it's a good place to go. We, we need more race like this in the center of the big uh, European capitals. We have a big race, of course, in Berlin. We also have now a big uh, marathon in um, in Paris, very similar to this one. And there is also a marathon in uh, London. Still not uh, very famous yet, but it's it's a good race. It's in a good place, not in the city center, but it's uh, on the Olympic Park. So it's a very good place also. And uh, Madrid is already now the 6th edition. So it starts to be interesting uh, to have so big race like this in the, in Europe. Also a lot of uh, photograph people all around the course taking pictures of every skater. And uh, it's very nice to get good memories also after the race. At this moment, so I'm still focusing on my technique actually mainly on uh, having a side push uh, with the heel of being aerodynamic and uh, playing with my body weight you can see a little bit how I'm going side to side to use my body weight uh, for the technique I was thinking that the, the pack would already uh, be back on me but um, yeah, I also know that uh, alone I can have no chance to do. I'm almost three laps to go, and I have so it's almost 30k to go because one lap. I think one lap is eight kilometers or a little more. So um, I know I have no chance to do uh, to do 30k alone like this. So um, I can do it, but uh, I wouldn't go really fast. So it's better for me to wait for the group behind. The other skater were way too strong and way too fast for me. So I try to follow them still anyway uh, as, as long as I could but now it's more about finding the biggest pack as possible. We also start to pass many uh, of the fitness skater and uh, that come to the race. I think it's something like 1000 to 1500 skater at the start of the race in all categories and there, is, there are two distances. You can choose between a 24 km and a 42 km and um, so I think most of the skater do 42 km still I'm not really uh, sure about it but it looks like and but already after one lap and one lap and a half we, we, see, we start to pass some of the skater because it can be a very big difference of level in all this competition when they mix the top skater and the mass and now you can see like the the main pack is coming back on me I think it's Julien Esnaud also a skater from France skate for Olabed he's in the pack we still have also Aura Quintana in this group 
So it's nice for me to find uh, some more here to, to play with. There is a little gap in the pack, so it's a good place to get in. Behind this scaler from, uh, from the In Gravity uh, team. And uh, you see the statue in the, just in front of us, it's uh, Plaza uh, Colzon, Colzon, I think in Madrid. And that's where we make the turn. So now um, we are we are more than 45 seconds behind the little group. Actually, the the gap I put here is the the simulated uh, gap between the um, two breakaway uh, between the two guys breakaway and the group of six uh, in front of us. And so we have three more laps to go here. It's the place where we can get the bottle of water. Uh, it was super warm, so it was important to uh, drink quite much in this race. We see Scaler from here, from uh, it's, I think it's from Roller Blade, Spain, I would say. And there is another Scaler from Roller Blade, two places in France, it's uh, Vincent Esno. And then we have Scaler also from Arganda del Rey and from Barcelona, with the uh, yellow and uh, orange and blue skin suit, two places behind, was uh, from Barcelona. They organized a nice marathon also in Barcelona. Uh, it was, I think, about one month ago. I couldn't uh, join unfortunately because it was same time as uh, some uh, French competition. But here it's a nice group and there is quite enough people to take some relay. I don't take so much relay in this moment because I had to do a quite long part alone uh, and I know I'm not so good at this appeal, not trained enough to, to go up. So um, I have to be a uh, my goal is to go as long as possible uh, in this group, even if there is uh, three laps to go. We didn't pass half of the race yet. I know um, I need to save some energy, so I make it a little bit lazy uh, at this moment of the race. Still, at this up now we have uh, Aura Quintana. She is one of the best marathon skaters in the world. She uh, won uh, the I think she won the World Cup in Ostrava one or two weeks ago and uh, no she got uh, she got a podium I think it was uh, Katarina Rumpus who won but she's in the, in the for sure in the top five in the world in the marathon if you go on uh, prorollertour.com you can uh, check the result of uh, most of the skater it's the ranking uh, website for um, all the marathon skater it's a little bit like the ranking system from uh, ATP in tennis but uh, made for the uh, inline marathon. So we, uh, we, rank, we take all the marathon in the world and the top 10 skater uh, get points and they keep the points for 365 days and uh, so that make uh, the marathon. You can see uh, in my back I have a little bottle of water that's where I put my water when I race. And uh, yeah, for the Pro Roller Tour it's an interesting website where you can uh, uh, your ranking uh, between all the skaters in the world. There is about 500 skaters in the ranking at the moment and uh, in every marathon top 10 skater uh, score point. Only in the World Inline Cup uh, series uh, those marathons bring points to the top 20 skater. 20 points to 1 point. So you will see also a little later. I, I don't have the full race uh, record uh, on this um, on this video because I had uh, to split the file during the race with the camera, and uh, one of the files uh, didn't work good with the with the camera. So I miss 15 minutes of this race. So you will see. We will uh, later we will jump 15 minutes of this race. So you see the skater that with the green skin suit, he, he put his skate in uh, one of the holes, so he lose a little bit balance. That's the main focus you need to have uh, in this appeal, especially. You are making effort, you want to take good draft, but you also have to look where you put your skate exactly, because 
Uh, you see it's hard up in. Uh, it's not like hard but it's so long that it creates difference. Even when we skate together, uh, you see there is a little gap in the group. So um, as soon as one skater feels good and accelerate, it makes a difference. So let's jump uh, way later in the race. We are now uh, like two laps to the end. We are in the downhill part. So when we will arrive down, it will be uh, one more lap uh, to go. And uh, you see the gap, it's written one minute 30. It's still between the leader and uh, the other skater. Uh, we are way more far than this. We are probably about four minutes behind the leading uh, gap, so more than two kilometers behind. In the downhill in this group we can still make good speed, it's quite nice. And the situation will, uh, will stay like this uh, quite for a while, and uh, till uh, almost the last appeal. So let's put a little bit some music uh, till the end of the race to enjoy uh, this few more laps.
movimento per le quattro. I tell you before the race, uh, my idea, and, and it's like this, uh, Pelicón and Guillaume uh, did uh, some uh, uh, attacks, some breakaways, and I, uh, when I saw, I go fast uh, to follow, so it's not uh, uh, too much uh, space, uh, so uh, in the four or five uh, breakaway, in the second lap, uh, I try to, to follow Guillaume, I take the relay and the space with the group is is more hard more more big so i continue and then i try in the up uh, go more hard than guillaume to try who is more strong and i saw uh, i can go my legs is work today so finally in the lab uh, last lab uh, in the last uh, up i try to make uh, a little difference and then i i go the downhill uh, alone to to take the, the win